sustainable government allocated money that can pay 3,000 professors annual salaries to renovate vice president's residence. Peter Obi fired the federal government. Obi said this on Monday in a series of posts he made on his ex formerly Twitter while reacting to the allocation of 15 billion naira for the construction of a new residence for the vice president by President Tinubu's government. Welcome back to Prospect Janet TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, has said that the President Bola Tinubu led Nigerian government has allocated an annual salary of about 3,000 professors for construction and renovation of the Vice President Kasim Shetimara's residence. Obi said this on Monday in a series of posts he made on his ex formerly Twitter while reacting to the allocation of 15 billion naira for the construction of a new residence for the Vice President by the President Bola Tinubu's government. The former governor of Anambra State also recorded that in the 2023 supplementary budget, Tunubu allocated the sum of $2.5 billion for the renovation of the vice president's residence in Abuja, while another $3 billion was allocated for the renovation of the vice president's residence in Lagos. According to Obi, the total amount of money already allocated for the vice president's residence is $20.5 billion, which he said is the annual salary of about 3,000 professors, many of whom, according to him, in a Nigeria university earn about 400,000. He wrote, even as I am still studying the 2024 physical budget as presented to the National Assembly last week, I cannot wait as I am compelled to ask what is exactly wrong with us as a country. I ask this question because it is hard for me to understand some of the recent happenings in our nation. In these critical times, the recent news about budget provisions of $15 billion for the construction of a new residence for the vice president is both shocking and disheartening, considering the many important challenges facing our nation. Just recently, in the supplementary budget, the sum of $2.5 billion was included for the renovation of the vice president's residence in Abuja, which means that he already has a residence. Again, during the budget pre presentation, I heard the sum of $3 billion was allocated for the renovation of the vice president's residence in Lagos. If we total all these sums, we would have budgeted the sum of $20.5 billion for the housing of the vice president at this critical time when we are not just the world's poverty capital, but more people are failing, falling into poverty with so many Nigerians not knowing where their next meal will come from. Our health facilities have collapsed. Our unemployment is skyrocketing. I am convinced that 99.9% .9 of Nigerians can only dream of living in the current residence of the vice president. Several people employed in the universities are not being paid. Just to give an example, the salary of a professor in a Nigerian university is about 400000 which without removing tax is about $5 million in a year. What we have budgeted for the housing of the vice president, who is already luxuriously housed, is therefore the annual salary of about 3,000 professors. This is the finance needed to develop the much needed human capital. The budget of 5 billion for student loans, which is yet to be dis disbursed, is only 18 percentage of the cost of the vice president's new home. We are projecting to use four times the amount for educating all Nigerian indigent students to house the vice president and we are being told there is nothing wrong with us 
I am sure the major teaching hospitals in Insoka, Lagos, Ibadan, and Zaria did not receive this much capital votes in the budget this year. We have had leaders that were exemplary in the past. Most Nigerians may not know that the popular 1004 flats in Lagos was a land allocated for the building of a presidential mansion for the then head of state, General Motala Mohammed. He suddenly turned down the offer and instructed that the land should be used to build blocks of flats for civil servants. That is the kind of sacrificial leadership worth emanating. Our leaders must therefore stop the recklessness and insensitivity to the plight of the masses. We need leaders who show compassion and are willing to sacrifice for common progress and development. Such compassionate and fragile leaders, fragile leaders are critical in our journey to the new Nigeria. Tinubu government allocated money that can be paid that can that can pay 3,000 professors annual salaries to renovate vice president's residence. Peter B, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party. Peter B has said that the president, Bola Tinubu-led Nigerian government, has allocated an annual salary of about 3,000 professors for construction and renovation of the vice president's residence. Obi said this on Monday in a series of posts he made on his ex, formerly Twitter, while reacting to the allocation of 15 billion naira for the construction of a new residence for the vice president by the President Tinubu's government. The former governor of Anambra State also recalled that in the 2023 supplementary budget, Tinubu allocated the sum of 2.5 billion for the renovation of the vice president's residence in Abuja. Why another three billion was allocated for the renovation of the vice president's residence in Lagos? According to B, the total amount of money already allocated for the vice president's residence is 20.5 billion, which is said is the annual salary of about 300 professors, many of whom, according to him, in a Nigeria university earn about 400,000. Nigerians, I think we have problem at hand. This is a very serious problem. When you have leaders who care less about the masses, this is what you get. Do they really care about Nigerians or just about them? That is why you see them uh, uh, do this uh, do or die. They conduct do or die election. You understand? Nigerians, there is a problem. There is a big problem. Well, guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for stopping by.